Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, wanting to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series Tusken Chieftain from the Book of Boba Fett. We see this guy pretty heavily featured in the first four episodes of the series via flashback, and he's a really neat design. He's more different than your standard, just tan-robed Tusken Raider. He's got some cool stuff going on, some neat necklaces and everything that just makes him look like a real chieftain of the tribe. He's a neat-looking figure, so let's go ahead and get into the review and see if this is a worthy addition to the collection. All right, here we have our standard Black Series packaging with your Black Series logo up above the big window showing the Tusken Chieftain off very nicely. You have your Star Wars The Book of Boba Fett in that kind of camo green across the front. Tusken Chieftain down here, 4 plus Hasbro. <coughs> Excuse me. This side of the box features artwork of the Chieftain holding his staff, looking super cool, his name down at the bottom. This side features your wraparound window, your wraparound green stripe, and your Black Series logo down at the bottom. Way around back, you have your Black Series logo, a zoom in on that side art, his name in a bio. In varying languages, pause and read whichever language best applies to you. He's number six in the Book of Boba Fett lineup. Below that, you see a ton of legal stuff, Hasbro Disney logos underneath. You have a barcode, more legal stuff, more logos about varying things. Up top's a hanger tab and a window, which allows a little bit of light into the box if you choose to display your figures in packaging. It makes them pop just a little bit more. However, I don't do that. I open my toys, so without further ado, let's open them up and take a look at what we get here. All right, here's the Chieftain out of his packaging, and of course we're going to start by taking a look at the accessories, or in his case, accessory. He only comes with one, but that's okay. He comes with the Chieftain's Bat Gaffy Stick. It is a unique Gaffy Stick, the only one we've ever seen in the series, or like the saga, that doesn't have like a curved hooked end to the end of it. This has a very familiar Tuscan pattern on the end with like three blades and a point, and then a nice wooden shaft sculpted very nicely, got some wrapping up near the top. Halfway down, you have like some carved in, you know, like handhold groove areas there. Then down at the very bottom, you have what is painted to look like it is a metal pommel piece. You have some nice paint up on the blades, and it is a touch longer than the figure is tall. That is accurate. He would stand there holding it one handed, and it looks very, very nice. It is proportional to the figure hands, where he will hold it one-handed, very snug. It does not have any slop, so that is that is good. This is a good accessory, and I'm happy they've included it. I say that they only included one accessory, as if it's a little bit of a negative. I don't genuinely think so, because other than this gaffy stick, I really can't think of what to give the guy, other than maybe, like, maybe those water fruits, you know, that they were digging up in the desert, Boba and the kid. But other than that, I mean, which... Honestly, I wouldn't have posed him with anyway. I think the staff is mint. So, looking at the Chieftain, he actually looks really cool. I, I like this a lot. I've never been, like, a huge Tusken Raider guy. I'm not big on the OT era in general. So, the OT and his aliens don't draw me a whole ton. But this guy, I knew I had to have him. You know that me, a non-OT guy, is particularly moved. You know, when you got that one single manly tear, you know, after Boba's, you know, doing that cremation of the whole tribe. Like, you know, I, I, I knew I needed to get this guy in the shelf, and I really hope that we end up getting that female black-robed Tuscan warrior, too. I think that would really kind of, like, set me on Tuscans, because I do have a couple OT ones. I think they'd blend very nice. But he looks really cool. He's a lot of reuse from the OG Tuscan Raider Black Series figure. I'm going to bring that in here. So, at first impression, you're like, what? There's no reuse going on here. So what it is is the upper torsos are new, and of course the head's new, and then the skirt is new, but the legs underneath are reuse, the arms are reuse. So there's 50-50 here, uh, but there's a lot of reuse going on. So if you have this guy, you kind of know what you're getting here, but there are some differences. For instance, the original Tuscan has a very soft fabric, you know, like, over-robe. This guy, the material is soft, but something worth noting is where the, like, maroon stripes are. It's like they didn't pattern the fabric, it's like it, they painted the fabric. So it's very, very starchy. And not to say that Tuscan Raiders are like, you know, the number one users of, you know, like downy fabric softener or anything, but like this is just very, very rough and unpleasant on the fingers. So I could only imagine it on the arms. But uh, yeah, that definitely, uh, I think maybe could have been done a little better. It's just very, very heavily, heavy handed done. Um, but it looks good, and ultimately it's not, like, a super main character, so I kind of understand why maybe they didn't have, like, mega effort put in. But the overrobe lays very nicely. The face on this guy looks really cool. Um, I do like the uh, tan paint around the front with the darker wraps around the back. The, you know, the studs coming out look really nice. And uh, 
just the uh, the dark, you know, endless eyes and the silver teeth in the front all look really cool. His, uh, like, breathing apparatus in the front is just a floating overlay. I say breathing apparatus. I don't truly know what it does, but it, uh, it doesn't connect to the mouth, so maybe it's not a breathing apparatus. He also has, like, the tooth and bone necklace going on here. Something that bugs me, and I've seen in other reviews, is that it is just floating. It doesn't really lay very nice. I'm probably going to put a touch of super glue up higher on it and just stick it to the torso. I'll leave the bottom free floating. That way it doesn't like conflict, you know, with the chest too much or the abdomen crunch. But otherwise, it's very well painted. I love these pouches and the little medallion like thing hanging on the string down there. Just looks really cool. You can go around the back. They've even painted the back of the belt. So you have some nice paint going on the uh, forearm wraps underneath of the sleeves. They've done they've done some good work here. I gotta say, for a, a bit character, for a guy who maybe gets twenty minutes of screen time, if that, over the entirety of the series, he actually has been done very well. I can appreciate the reuse that they've done here, just because why would you do something different? But uh, I mean, these look really really good. I think that he is a good addition to your Tuscan collection, if you're a Tuscan collector. Um, he just, he nails the look well. Let's go ahead and run through some articulation, which as I mentioned, a lot of the limbs and stuff are reused, so it should be familiar. Features a ball on a hinge instead of the two ball system. It's a bit of an older body, so he can only look up that far, which is basically nothing. He can bury his chin though, rotate and pivot. His arms can come up to a T-pose, and, you know, I mentioned there's a new upper torso, so there's actually a butterfly joint in there. I'm just catching that. However, it doesn't have a huge amount of range, but it's there, so that's actually really nice. 360 at the shoulder, single-jointed elbows can go to about 90, rotate at the elbow, 360 at the wrist with the left one hinging in and out, and the right one also hinging in and out, so no pointing the gaffy stick. It's okay. It's not like these guys, like, go to war or anything. Features a mid-torso ball joint. I wasn't going to crunch that far forward. That far back, he has some side-to-side -side pivot and rotation. His legs, you can kick all the way out into a true splits, but then you have the heavy rubber skirt, so, like, it, you know, he can actually just stand on the skirt. But, uh, all the way out, there's an upper thigh rotation, double jointed knees, and go all the way up. The feet can point basically straight down, pretty far forward, honestly, and there's a forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get him into some decently wide stances with both feet flat on the ground, just to do... A couple of size comparisons. Let's go ahead and bring in the Tuscan outfit Boba Fett, as seen in the Mandalorian and the flashback scenes. We'll also go ahead and bring in rearmored Boba Fett, just because it's his show, so why not? And then the standard Tuscan. This is actually the red and black box. I never got any archives. I just got three of this guy back in the day. So, all in all, I think he actually scales pretty nicely. I do like the look and scale of this chieftain. He's pretty cool. So, at the end of the day, what do I think of the Book of Boba Fett Tuscan chieftain? I, I like it. It's a pretty good figure. Look, I totally get this one's definitely going to be a pass for some. He doesn't have a huge amount of screen time. It's just another Tuscan Raider, and hey, I get it. Um, I really like this design. I like the idea of actually seeing, like, Tuscan chieftains. Um, again, I've never been huge on the OT, on the OT era, you know, anything to do with it, really, so I'm not, like, a big Tusken Raider, you know, fanboy or anything. Um, they were very blink and you miss it for me, but, you know, the show did something really cool. They actually showed us a little bit about the Tusken Raider culture within the universe, and that's something that I never thought I would care about. That's something that I never wanted, I never cared about the notion of, but then they actually did it in a pretty compelling way. And so, like, I actually had a pretty good time, you know, with that portion of the series. I love the Book of Boba Fett in general, and honestly, anything they put in this packaging I'll probably pick up. Um, but yeah, this is just, it's a really neat action figure of a really interesting aspect to the Book of Boba Fett series. Something that I'm personally very happy to have in my collection. However, I totally get if he's not for you. But he's done very well, and if you were in any way interested, I hope I've managed to convince you one way or the other. Um, I think that you'd be happy adding them to the shelf. Just know there's some reuse, so there's a little bit of 2017 clunkiness in places, but they've lifted some portions too. You know, they added the butterfly joints. They made it pretty nice, and uh, I think it's just a good, a good addition to the collection, but totally not essential, so I get if you decide to pass. 
that's all. Thanks for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, you should leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. You guys know the drill. Check out the channel memberships for 99 cents a month. You'll be super appreciated and get your name put in the end credits at the end of each and every video. And until next time, I just want each and every one of you to know that I appreciate you and may the force be with each and every one of you. I will see you next time. Goodbye.